Hi, Jeremy Young here, CEO of Atomos. We've got a lot of new announcements for you from uh, IBC. We had the converters, scaling, repeating. We've got multiplexing. We've got splitting. They're everywhere. They're raining colors. And the reason they're like that is because we want you guys to really understand and make it easy to work with. We've got removable ears, locking everything. We've added scaling. We've added frame sync conversion. With, there's a lot of new features in these products, waveform overlays, timecode overlays, audio level meter overlays to give you a broadcast monitor on an HDMI cheap monitor using an SDI signal or an HDMI signal from these awesome cameras or infrastructure that you've got. So they're all available, sub $500, all the way down to $95, and we know you're gonna love them. We've got 4K and we've got HD SD converters. The other announcement we had was Sumo 19M, uh, which is the little brother to the Sumo 19, which has been a big success for us. We're seeing a lot of these on set recording ProRes, especially high frame rate and HDR. So Sumo 19M, $2,000, check it out at Adamus.com. Um, it's basically all of the features of monitoring of a Sumo and an Inferno, but without the recording. You can still add 3D LUTs and you can still monitor 4K60 from that on the awesome HDR panel. So we just thought after IBC, we had a lot of customers come up and say, we haven't really heard much education from Atomos and where we really used to like when you'd get a camera and you'd show us exactly how to use it and how to increase the quality of it. Well, we've been working even harder than we have ever before and pushing boundaries in lots of different technology areas, which I think customers probably don't really realize. So we just wanted to give you a, a three bullet points that on our new release, which is, is coming out this week, 8.4, Adam OS 8.4, which will start on the Inferno series, Shogun and Ninja Inferno. It'll then move to the Sumo series, Sumo 19 and 19M. We'll get that update in the following week. And then following that, we'll give the Shogun Flame and Ninja Flame customers. So just to repeat, Shogun Inferno and Ninja Inferno, around $1,000, they'll get them first and then we'll give it to the Sumo 19, 19M for about $2,000, uh, that range, which is a really big 19 inch monitor, and then the 4K P30 range, which is one of our original ranges, um, gets the same features after, and in our tradition, we always give the same features without charging any money. So this free update 8.4 covers a few bases, and we wanna just go over some of the features that we've improved, as well as just remind you of some of the things that these amazing products do. So the first one is HDR. It's a 10.5 stop panel, 1500 nits. You can crank it up in brightness if you're in Rec 709 or standard dynamic range. But when you go to high dynamic range, this thing really does shine. What you need is a log camera, and all you need to do is make sure that you've pressed the right button for your camera. So if you're on a Canon, make sure it says Canon on the camera and you just need to make sure the settings match and you will be able to expose correctly for HDR production. Why is HDR production really super important? Well, all the TVs are now HDR compatible and if you don't know that, then you haven't been into an electronics store in the last year. They're definitely coming thick and fast and it, they look amazing, but you need to make content for your clients based on an HDR workflow. And we solve that workflow for you, just like we solved 4K and just like we solved ProRes at an affordable price so that you can use the current camera that you have. You don't have to, have to upgrade all this infrastructure equipment. Just buy an Atomos product and you can be HDR. Who else is coming with HDR announcements? Well, we did with, with YouTube. 4K HDR, you can go directly from our ProRes files straight up to YouTube and be watching them in 4K HDR on any of your set-top boxes that are capable of delivering HDR to a display. Who else is jumping on the bandwagon? That small company that we're very close to called Apple announced their 4K Apple TV, which also has PQ HLG support, which is the same that we support inside the product, same ones that YouTube that we're supporting for YouTube, the same ones that Chromecast supports, the same ones that Amazon supports. So you can now make content for all of these different app, um, set top boxes and TVs. And they're just the main players who are doing kind of the higher end productions and the medium level episodic TV productions. But if you're doing 
any type of delivery for a client, rushes, etc., you can utilize things like YouTube and common, basically web-based infrastructure that delivers to your TV. And HDR is solved, provided you have a product with an Anonymous logo on it. If you don't have a product with an Anonymous logo on it, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to work out what is PQ, what is HLG, what is log. These are all, how do you edit it? How do you finish it? We're solving all those problems for you uh, very simply. And if you grab one of our products or go to one of our trusted resellers, authorized resellers, they'll give you a demonstration of just how easy it is to take your current camera, pump out log from it, record to HDR, expose correctly, finish in tools like Final Cut, and then straight up to YouTube. The second thing is a lot of creativity in, in filming today is, is coming from the high dynamic range brightness increases, which also increase color. And there's some color increases that are coming with some wider color gamuts that are coming. We map all those for you as well. But probably one of the most um, impressive things is the slow motion. No, I'm not really in slow motion, but that's the kind of stuff that people are using to be really creative in front of the camera today. And it's being put into footage like all the time. And it really does to beats of music, you know, when you're slowing a action shot down or trying to emphasize certain creative um, flicks of hair on models. Slowing it down is really, really beautiful. But to keep the quality, you need to do that at really high frame rate. Most of the cameras that do high frame rate are super expensive, but not with the teamwork of camera companies and Atomos. We've teamed up to give you the affordable sub seven grand camera range. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, some of them are a little bit less. They allow you to not only record HDR directly to ProRes, but we've unlocked the capability of the camera, something that the camera cannot do internally by itself, it actually pumps out raw over SDI to our unit. And we then record, we convert it to either Cinema DNG or ProRes for you, or, or Avid DNxHR, which whatever your workflow is, will record up to 240 frames a second from something as little as $3,000 for an FS700 on the second hand market. Those cameras are, are awesome and you can do 240 frames a second from those. You can also do it on the FS5, which is a $5,000 camera. And that's kind of the workhorse of most event videographers today. And you can unlock 240 frames a second HD RAW. You can also unlock 4K60 ProRes, which you cannot do 4K60 on that camera unless you have the RAW output to an Atomos product. So you spend $5,000 on the camera, $1,000 on a Shogun Inferno, and guess what? You can do 240 and 4K 60. Go up to the FS7. These are the Sony cameras. Go up to the FS7. You have the same scenario. We're increasing the quality and they give us 12-bit RAW. And we can record that to Cinema DNG or we can down bit it a little bit to a 10-bit and we can go to 240 frames a second in ProRes. Unbelievable. You can be creative. You can do what the big guys can do on big budgets, but you can do it at a really affordable price. We've got a killer announcement in 8.4, so all of our products have been doing that for a while, and Panasonic um, have a pretty awesome camera, which we do love dearly here. The sensor is quite spectacular. It's the Vericam LT, and the Vericam LT has been waiting for this update to enable its 240 frames a second RAW, to enable its Cinema DNG capabilities. So there's a bunch of um, different Vericam flavors that are available for operation on 8.4 Infernos, Sumos. The flames don't go quite as high, but you can go up to 120 frames a second on the flame. So the flame customers can still get some pretty kick-ass slow motion. Now this isn't iPhone slow motion, which is MPEG, heavily compressed. We love the iPhone, but it's not a pro tool. And this is raw from the sensor without loss to ProRes at 240. You can insert that into any production that you are doing today. And the last thing I, I, I wanna mention, which I think a lot of people don't know, is the amazing toolbox that these Atomos products are. Not only can you play them back on the screen and record from pretty much any source, 
you can also convert lots of different formats. And we see it as a really um, a major tool on set or in any production workflow. If you need to insert an HDR flag for a TV to flick into the right mode, we can do it. If you need to convert 12 GSDI to HDMI 2.0 at 4K60, because there's no converter that does it, our units do it internally. So you don't need a separate converter, you, it does that all the time. We loop out SDI from Quadlink to 12G to give you a single cable after one cable. We take trigger and time code from almost every camera that's out today and we embed it into the recorded file so that you can follow that time code all the way through the editing and designing process. There's a couple of other things that we've added in this, in this 8.4 firmware like asynchronous audio support which means some of the things like Xboxes and some of the DSLR cameras would output a separate clock for the audio. Now anyone who's done a lot of video production knows that if audio is out of sync it's a disaster and it takes a long time to fix or you can't fix it at all. So we now re-clock that for you and ensure that it's locked to the video uh, frame rate at exactly the same as the audio frame rate which means you never get lip sync issues and you never get any issues with your recording whether it be from a gaming device, a DSLR or any of the pro equipment out in the world. The last thing I want to talk about is gaming. The gaming community has been a major uh, customer for Atomos in the last uh, year to two, especially with our Inferno 4K P60 range and HDR, because they're leading the charge for inserting HLG and PQ flags. Just a quick message on HLG is a halfway house between standard dynamic range and high dynamic range. PQ is the full deal. Um, but if you've got an SDR TV, you can still look better than an SDR recorded footage if you've recorded HDR. So we support those flags in our product. We support 4K60. We support the HD120 that's starting to come from some of the games. And we also support some of the 240 that's coming out um, in the near future from some of the big players uh, in the gaming world. We support the PlayStation 4 Pro. We support the new Xboxes that are coming out. And we've got development units right now that are working perfectly with 8.4 and auto changing into the right HDR mode so you don't have to do anything again. That comes back to the toolbox, it comes back to the solving the problems on set for you, giving you better creative tools, HDR, high frame rate, converting from, from anything to anything. We even support back to HDMI 1.2, which allows you to connect to some older products. So if you've got a projector or you've got a, an older TV, you will be able to connect to our products. Um, so just remember, Atomos is a great addition to any camera, it's a great addition to any workflow. Anyone trying to do any high quality representation for entertainment or to make money from producing video, we definitely have the right tools for you. So come to our website, have a look at the cameras that are supported, have a look at all the devices that we support. I guarantee your one is on there and we will absolutely increase the quality of your productions provided it's got a big logo on it like this.